Welcome to the Creep Sound Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might be explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Why people got to be dicks? What does that mean, Jonas? Because we are a minute and we are two seconds into the video. Hey, right. <laughs> Exactly. And I don't understand. Are you talking about like the name Richard? Like why are there so many Richards out there? I don't understand. I think Richard is a played out name and that we need to get rid of it. Because honestly, nobody wants to be called Richard because <laughs> why? And if your name's Richard at home, change your name. And hey, honestly, hey, there's a good there's some good Richards. If it. short for Richard is Dick, change your name, man. Change wow. your name. You're asking I for love it. I love your name. Anyways, you like my name? Yeah, I like your name. Thanks. Uh, so these guys decided that Stonehenge's color was not uh, pretty enough. Oh, you talking about you talking about this right here? Yeah, this guy who's using orange paint, orange powder paint, to hit up a I don't even. It's like old as shit. It's like a wonder of the world. <laughs> I mean, like they don't even shit. know how this was built because it was so old. They're like, how do people do this? It's like old as shit. <laughs> yeah. So funny to me, I mean, I I'll tell know. you what. It's Stonehenge is what I'm talking about. Uh, I've been there. You went to Stonehenge? Yes. That's very cool. It was. I have a, <laughs> You're going to hate this. I have a shirt that says Stonehenge Rocks. That you could buy at Stonehenge. I don't like it. <laughs> I, know. I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Yeah. And uh, it took the smile off of my face. <laughs> I was smiling. I was looking at you in a good mood. Like, oh, we're having a fun time talking about the story. You're like, you I'm said that bullshit right there, and it took the smile off my face. Uh, it did. But like you can't you can't walk up to it. There's like it's not a fence, but there's like a there's like a, a path that goes all the way around it in a circle. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a it's like stakes in the ground with like a chain running around it like it's not a real fence obviously um but it's like when you go there and they're talking about it and you see how big it is you're like and how heavy those stones are and stuff it's like solid rock you're like how did the because like where they got the stone from is nowhere near where it is so like they traveled with that shit yeah very far to no. get there yeah and it's like how that that's why it's a wonder of the world right like i, I mean i guess yeah but it, it was neat. I was like, oh, this is cool. It's not, I don't know. It's not a wonder when you just know that aliens did it. Look, the fact that. Hey, oh, I have another side story. So you, you think that, uh, you think that just stop oil are, are jerks for doing this. You think that this is a bad. How does that affect oil? Uh, we've talked about just stop oil. In oh, the they're past. the ones that throw the paint on the paintings. On the paintings, that are even protected. though it's not going to cause any damage, because this is powder though. paint. It'll wash off with rain. It's exactly. not. It's, it's not, not damaging. It honestly all. doesn't do anything. Five thousand so, years old. Yeah, that's cool. So the, their whole idea is that uh, even though there are like like a uh, worldwide repercussions for the amount of oil usage. On, on this earth is that people care more about these these uh, wonders, I guess, of the world, these items being defaced, even though they're not being harmed in any way. They care more about that than the tragedies that are occurring because of our frequent oil consumption and the, the tragedies that will occur later in, in, in the community. Now, I'm not a just stop oil guy. I'm Sounds not, like it. I'm not. But there has been a, there's a theory that the Just Stop Oil guys are actually funded by by, by the big oil corporations. Oh, I to, wouldn't. I mean, I'm sure something weird. Because when we're looking at the Just Stop Oil guys, like they're the bad persons because they sit in the middle of the streets and they're the ones who get everybody riled up by pouring a orange paint on a Louvre or spraying paint on a building. Then who becomes the good guy? But the petroleum country Why companies. Is that? Because you can't have two good guys. You can't have two bad guys. Not everybody can be bad. Somebody has to be badder. So the guy who wants to stop him is the bad guy? They become the anti-hero in the scenario? 
All right, so let's let's put it like this, man. Is Ukraine is Ukraine necessarily absolved from all of the atrocities and the crimes that everybody in that country commits, or do we say they deserve it because they deserve the Russian invasion because of that? When it comes down to it, Ukraine is not an angel state. When it comes down to it, uh, Jerusalem is not an angel state. We have to realize that when we're looking at a conflict between two individuals, it, we are, we always go to the lesser of two evils. Even with our current presidential election, we're kind of dealing with the same thing where it's like everybody feels compelled to go to the lesser of two evils. So it's just both sides trying to prove each other more evil. I kind of feel like it. It does. it's not too far-fetched to think is that there would be some funding from these oil corporations to, you know, everything we see is planned, Jonas. That's all I'm saying. Every Nothing that we see is not on purpose. And nothing that makes the news is not on purpose. They are trying. What kind of rabbit hole you been going down, not, bro? It's not even a manipulation thing. It's more of like we have to push the narrative of the way things are on in the country and on Earth. So, to a yeah? certain extent, You've yeah. been watching some Cabal videos? This is, man, look, you <laughs> think I'm crazy. Tell, tell me about it. I love how you think I'm crazy, but yet you know I'm right. I know what you're talking about. You think I'm crazy, but yet you know I'm right. Uh, <laughs> That's, I love that. Well, I mean... You know I'm you not may, wrong. You may be right. You may be crazy. And you tell you me might, it, just might be the lunatic I'm looking for. I might be. Yeah, turn out the lights. Yeah, tell me it doesn't make sense, though, to a certain extent. I mean, we've all seen that video where, like, they show the newscasters at the beginning of the news story, and it's, like, one, and then it breaks into, like, three, and then it breaks into five, then 20, and they're all saying the exact same words at the exact same time. In a, terrible in our country, and it's a, it's a down thing for, for democracy. And it's, like, I oh, mean... it's so, a script, you mean? Yeah, exactly. That's all I'm saying is that and that's that's purely what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand, like, what the, the end goal or motive is of it. But I would never take anything that I see on the news as word for word or anything that I see as word for word. Now, when I see things go before Congress and stuff, it's hard not to turn an eye to that and be like, this might have some relevance. But on the same note, everything that we see. Oh, well, it's I mean, it's just like plain. when you see, like, when, when, like, the news is bashing a stock, that's probably the stock you want to buy. I mean, yeah. Yeah, because they, it, it doesn't serve their purpose of, like, whatever, like, you know? They, yeah. Um, I mean, this is getting way more existential than I wanted it to go. I mean, you went into the conspiracy theory bag pretty quick. I didn't mean, I didn't go, I, look, this is this this conspiracy that's being shopped around online because... It seems a little ridiculous for the Jeff stop. Oh, did you see this? Dude, I didn't even show. I didn't really talk about this. This is the other funny part of the story, dude. Hold on, let's see if we can find it real quick. Okay. Uh, just stop, Oyo, uh, Taylor Swift. So they also, they also uh, did it to Taylor Swift. That, that's Taylor Swift, all right. I'm not gonna play anything from her. They also did it to Taylor Swift's private jet. Oh, did they? Yeah, within the same week, I guess, of the Stonehenge thing. Oh, man. So, and like, honestly, like, I don't know who's mad about this. <laughs> I don't know who's mad. I didn't even hear about it. Like, like everyone's pissing off Taylor Swift fans, I guess. Oh, Swift, Swifties. And then they're like just hugging in front of it. Like, what? Yeah, why not, dude? They, dude mean, they mean what they believe. I don't know what's happening. To I the just, world. bro, look, it, it makes a lot of sense to me is that with the the invention of the internet is that people are Bored. more and more able to find echo chambers that have the same sentiment or values or eccentric beliefs that they have for themselves. So when you get a bunch of eccentrics in a room, you know, Jones, there's a, there's a popular saying is that one person doing something stupid is an idiot. Two people doing something stupid is a plan. Just two. That's all it takes, man. That's it? And then start a revolution? One person robbing a bank is stupid. Two people robbing a bank, that's a plan. That's kind of stupid, too, though. It's stupid, but it's still a plan. What about two people doing a podcast? Uh, hey, hey, we're not stupid, at least. Hey. 
I mean, if the first, we break up, though, it's... If, if you go watch those first five episodes where I was solo dolo, that was stupid. Then we've been good ever since. I don't know, John. I think you did a killer job. You, you, you do good. Considering now. I'd never done a podcast before in my life, I, I was mean, just like, know. I don't even know what I'm going to do here. <laughs> I'm Jonas. Yeah, that's what I sounded like. Go listen to it, episode one. I mean, it doesn't sound too much different from what I'm you sound so like mad now. I'm that girl on Scattergories. Holy shit, doesn't sound too much different. That girl on Scattergories made me so mad. That's the first thing I ever talked about. That chick on <laughs> Scattergories on the tablet. Damn, uh, uh, go listen. It's a throwback. Go listen. <laughs> episode one. I don't even so know if you can find more. it anymore. It's probably on here somewhere. But that's all time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazynow.com and uh, read TNT's memoirs about conspiracy theories. It's not conspiracy theories, Jonas. That's an in, that's I didn't come up with that. All right. Now anyway, you're TNT. You're regurgitating. We out. <laughs>